Bruh. <laughs> Just... I, I, I feel like since we started this show, like, every time right before we we're about to record an episode, some crazy thing happens, whether it's Liam Neeson or the abduction in plain sight thing, and now this Jesse Smollett. <sighs> Bruh. What is next? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're gonna reveal that uh, Hillary Clinton is a reptilian or some shit like that. Do people not know that? <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna reveal it. There's plenty of people that know that. Did you not watch Alex Jones today on Joe Rogan? Oh, and then yeah, that happened right before we hit record. Uh, Alex Jones shows up on Joe Rogan. Oh boy, I can't wait when we report on the apocalypse. But today, aren't we? Uh, it's we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. I believe this, this one of the seven signs. I believe to, I believe this week's incident or this this little recent incident. Yeah, it's been uh, like is, about a month going. Now. It's it's predicted in Revelations. I I do believe. Uh, so me and Je- so I was aware of this guy through memes like you were Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Never got the full story. I know the basics of what he did. Right. So we pulled up the Chicago Tribune, go right to the source, city where it happened in, and we pulled up the article, and we have everything dated uh, from what Jesse Smollett did. Now, a little background on Jesse Smollett. He's an actor on the show Empire. I would just be happy enough to have a TV role. Apparently not Jesse. Uh, Openly gay, openly black. Uh, (laughs) I don't think he has that choice. (laughs) I'm just saying. I don't don't think that's a... He's not hiding it. Well, how could you? (laughs) How could you, Jake? How could you hide it? I don't know, man. Well, anyway. (laughs) So, he's from uh, Empire. I would be happy, as somebody in the entertainment industry, I would just be happy with a TV show in general. I wouldn't be greedy and want more if I I was greedy. I'd just audition more. Hold on, let's tell people what happened, what he did. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's get right full into it from beginning He made a claim last month that two men attacked him near his apartment... And they put a a noose around his neck, and they started calling him faggot, and the N-word, and everything else. Um, Cut to now, and pretty much it's been, you know, solidified that he faked the entire thing. Yes. Uh, January 22nd. The week before he says he was attacked in Streeterville... Which I want to live there. That sounds like a that sounds like a town in the cartoon Doug. Right. <laughs> a Smollett reporter receiving it's an envelope. It's a suburb of Pleasantville. It's a suburb. <laughs> yeah. Smollett reported receiving an envelope addressed to him at a production studios on Chicago's West Side. The envelope was postmarked in Southwest suburban Bedford Park four days earlier. The letters MAGA were written in red ink, and uh, inside was a threat in cutout letters: "You will die, black expletive." There was a white powder in the envelope, but it was. I wonder determined. what the expletive was. I don't. I. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. So many things it could be. It's a mystery, but it was determined to be crushed pain reliever, according to police. So, uh, that's what Jesse says happened. Uh, uh, he told police that on January twenty second, January 29th, Jake, if you will. Uh, he reports that two men uh, attacked him while he was getting food from a subway shop um, around two in the morning. Uh, once again, openly black, openly gay. <laughs> said he was walking back to his apartment at the 300 it actually, block. Actually, in Jake's defense, this actually just says that in the article. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to correct him that time because he's like, just reading. He's North Water Street. Like, we need to know where that was. Two men walked up and yelled racial and homophobic slurs. We can only imagine what they were. Uh, well, never mind. They, they, they cleared it up right here. Uh, in quotes, this is MAGA country. And then hit him and wrapped a noose around his neck. And again, this is what Smollett is reporting to police. January 30th, the Chicago police report. Uh, they have at least a dozen detectives reviewing hundreds of hours of surveillance camera footage. We got dozens of detectives uh, pol- on this case, uh, Mr. Uh, Smollett. They're, they're re- reviewing camera dozens. footage. Dozens. None, none of the camera footage shows he's attacked. Police released two images of people in the area whom they would like to question. The two persons were captured by a surveillance camera on New Street near Illinois Street between 1.30 and 1.45 a.m. Smollett says he was attacked about 15 to 30 minutes later around that corner. The images, however, are dark and faces indistinguishable. Uh, Reports of Smollett's attack drew outrage and support on social media. This is when everybody starts to pretty much hear about it at first. Oh, yeah. Including from U.S. Senator Kamala Harris. That's another thing about this story. So many people came to his 
like aid and came to say something about him and uh, U.S. Uh, Representative Bobby Fish of Chicago and openly gay TV host and also openly white Ellen yes. DeGeneres. Very openly uh, white. Then January 31st hymns and the president's involved. Mm-hmm. What what does the president tell reporters, Jake? He says it doesn't get any worse than this as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Despite the support of celebrities and politicians, skepticism continues to grow on social media on January 31st. Smollett's family issues a statement calling the attack a racial and homophobic hate crime. The family says he has told police everything and his story has never changed. uh, Disputing assertions on social media that he has been less cooperative and has changed the story. February 1st, Smollett issues a statement telling people that he's okay and thanking them for their support. He says he is working with authorities and has been 100% factual and consistent on every level february 2nd god there's so many he did so much crap uh the second he gave a concert in west hollywood california you see how his career is picking up now he's performance since the reported attack i had to be here tonight blah 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 i can't let them win i can't let them i have so many words in my heart the most important thing i have to say is thank you so much and that i'm okay I'm not fully healed yet, but I'm going to. I am a strong, openly black, openly gay man. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to stand strong with y'all. February 12th, Chicago police uh, say Smollett turned over some, but not all, of the phone records that detectives requested as part of their investigation. Smollett had said his music manager was on the phone with him at the time of the attack and can corroborate this story, but police say the heavily redacted files aren't sufficient sufficient. Smollett says the information was redacted to protect the privacy of contacts and people not relevant to the attack. That's kind of fishy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, I just wanted to clear out these messages, you know, because they they really have nothing to do with this. You know, the people that I paid off to, um, Mm. you know, attack me. But if it's not enough, remember, we don't even know he's lying at this point. February 14th, he's on Good Morning America giving his story to Robin Roberts. I'm not gonna go out. Listen to this shit. I'm not gonna go out and Go get a tuna sam- sandwich, uh, tuna sandwich, and a salad to meet somebody that's ridiculous and it's offensive. Well, they're saying that because uh, he said that he heard that it was a date gone bad. Yeah. He's like, okay, that's not what happened. Uh, and w- the the thing that further intrigues me is he says you do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. Oh yes. Like, why the fuck are you gonna go on Good Morning America knowing that you're fucking lying? Because about these. And when we when we get wrapped up about with all this, I have my own I have my own theory on why he's going to so much. But some Chicago police announced hours later uh, that are interviewing the two persons of interest. Uh, who are they? One of them worked as an extra on Empire, and the other one uh, the other guy is the brother They're of that guy. They're two Nigerian brothers. Two Nigerian brothers. One of them an extra on Empire. That's a little suspicious. Hmm. Uh, I wonder what happens next. Early in the day, says the two persons are now considered potential suspects. He says the men in custody have not been charged with a crime. Twelve hours later, this is February 14th, police released the brothers saying they were no longer considered suspects. Due to new evidence as of today's interrogation, the individuals questioned by police in the Empire case have now been released without charging, and detectives have additional investigative work to complete. I bet, you know, they went, yeah, Jussie Smollett orchestrated all this. Oh, yeah. That's the point at February 15th. So here's February 16th, and now they're investigating whether Smollett paid the two brothers, and here we go. Here's where we're at now. It's all out there. Jesse Smollett hired an extra that worked with him on Empire and that dude's brother to attack him. He convinced his family to send out this social media thing, and now he's staying in the same uh, jail as R. Kelly. Yeah, uh, I, don't know if yeah you did I did see that. The, uh, mm-hmm. the check-in mm-hmm. pictures were exactly the same, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're hearing like a vibrating, sorry, we're recording this on my phone, and the, the vibration happens sometimes. Um, but yeah. So now he's in the same jail as R. Kelly. And what's worse about this is the uh, communities that it involves black community, LGBTQ community, and then you have all the politicians that came out. And in today's world, where shit like this actually does happen, and he's using it. To get more famous, what right? To fucking... propel his career, he should have just gotten getting written off of Empire. He should have just gotten some. He should have just gotten in a Lincoln with some dude and asked for relief. <laughs> yeah, seriously, or like fucking hook up with Elton John or something. That'll get you in the news, right? Like... Or you know what Liam Neeson thinks about? You know? Yeah, 
Go on a date with Liam Neeson. Go on a date with Liam Neeson. Maybe Liam Neeson was involved in this attack. Put him in the room with Liam Holy Neeson. Holy fucking That's his shit. punishment. <laughs> I just wanted to kill a black man. <laughs> Liam Neeson has to talk to him. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How do you think that would go? No, I mean... Uh, it's not funny. <laughs> if I were... If I were here ten years ago... <laughs> I would have dropped a cinder block on your head. But the Jesse Small, I don't even know how to do top. I know, oh, that I was never... Jesse Small that I was having. Oh, that was Jesse Small? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've never watched Empire. Have you ever watched Empire? Uh, no. You look like a dude that watches Empire. What Jake. the fuck is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Fuck you. You're you just look op- like you fucking You're openly watch hip. Fucking. <laughs> Reviews on alpacas on fucking YouTube. Fuck well, you. That and scandal. That and scandal. Anyways. I yeah, I watch Empire. <laughs> you watch Empire? No, fuck no. No, I've never heard this guy talk or anything like that. I didn't watch the Good Morning America interview because I'm not really up in the morning. I, th- I'm learning about all this right now as we're fucking reading it. Yeah, like I said, yeah. I put this whole shit together through memes like I put Bird Box together. Like, I didn't need to see the shit. I already know what happens. That was Jake. Yeah. Jake did the Bird Box meme. That's right. I'm like, fuck All it. of them. Goddamn Charlie Day in the mail room. <laughs> <laughs> No, but what a horrible thing. What a piece of shit. Yeah. What a piece of shit. Well, yeah, would I you mean, but... It, would it, you, what would you do for fame? Ooh, that's good. What would you do for fame? What would I do for fame? This is what he would do for fame. He already had fame, and he wanted more fame. This is what he did. What would you do? What is your limit? What would be the one thing you do for fame? I don't... I don't desire fame. I've been offered you, fame. Okay, I okay, know. okay. Um, let's just say you needed it... You needed fame tomorrow because you needed money. Just for let's just say it's a financial thing. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe rig an election. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm giving him a stand to go on that one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. That's I'd a sell. Tough question. I'd, I'd sell my soul. I mean, to you someone. have to like given. You have to be given some um, options, I think, and then you have to choose. Yeah, like, yeah. out of them, like. If someone told if me... If your mom was... Like, never mind, I'm not going to use this one for you. No, uh, go ahead. Uh, I'm a grown-ass man. Let's just hypothetically pretend hypothetically, my mom's still yeah, You don't suck your dad's dick, your mom dies tomorrow. See, now I'm offended by the dad sucking the dick, because I didn't know you knew that. Oh, well, it's, I mean, it was hypothetical. It was actually more like 50-50. Either you did or you um, didn't. No, like, if someone said, hey, you gotta stop talking to a family member, if that's what you're saying, if someone said, hey, you gotta excommunicate that family member, that family member is toxic. No, I said what I said. I thought it was a metaphor. Uh, <laughs> no, that was the real fucking scenario. No, I would it's not like do that. like the box. No, I would not do that. But if someone said, excommunicate a family member, they're too toxic, too poison, and if it was a financial thing, if I had to have money the next day, I would do it. I wouldn't do what Jesse Smollett did, though. And just make society look even more terrible. Well, you need to be a little open about your blackness, and then maybe you can get away with something about this. But that's the thing, man. I'm just fucking playing. No, no, no. Just no. so y'all know this. Is, no, no, no. It's just like, funny to say. But, like, he took what happens today, which is sensationalism. Well, it, it makes it tough for anybody else who this actually does happen to. Yeah. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Oh, well, it's and like it's what the, the Me Too movie Yeah, says. exactly. Yeah. It's easy to jump on these fucking bandwagons, and some of the stories are true, some of them aren't. And you, it, now it's up to us to decide because we have these fucking assholes who fake these stories. Yeah. So. But now Kamala Harris and uh, uh, who, who, are, who are the other the other politician, and Ella Jarris now, look how, look, they made him look, look made... He made them look like fools. No, they made themselves look like fools. They didn't even get the full story before they already fucking jumped I on. Mean, like, sit back, collect the evidence. But it's... Well, the media should have held on before reporting about it. Oh, yeah, you're right. About well, I guess, yeah. I don't know. It's a double-edged sword but, there. But why did they do it? They do it for ratings. They report something like that for ratings before getting the full story, before reading the oh, actual these are going to make my, my numbers look so good. Everybody's really guilty yeah. in all of this. Yeah, I'm trying to get but those But he's votes. the most guilty for this just elaborate setup. Why can't you just be happy with the fact, like, you're on Empire? And then you gotta ruin an extra career. he was career. getting written off of Empire. Well, that's why he did That's it. when you audition for other things. You know how good it would look if he had this happen to him when he auditioned yeah, oh for God, other things? Dude. You're so strong. He walked, oh my God. We you're so give, brave. Let's, he wins. Let's just, give him the part. Give Holy just, shit. 
The he's like, he's an icon. The Smollett. The Smoles. <laughs> the Smolster. Now he's the fucking Smolester. <laughs> In a jail with R. Kelly. Mm. God, man. That's just, but I mean, it's deserved. It's well deserved. Well, that's we'll what see what happens. For. That's how, what how he is he going gonna, for. How, what's, his, what's his repercussion for this? Oh, no, his career's dead. Right, but what, like, still, like, you're wasting fucking thousands of tax dollars having dozens of detectives review yeah. fucking hundreds of hours of fucking footage. Oh, yeah, he's getting some jail time. Like, what the fuck? Like, mm-hmm. you're, you're putting everybody out. Wow. At this point, like, and that, there's so many people behind the scenes that are doing meaningless fucking work. They're trying to find an attacker that yeah. isn't even fucking there. They bring in people. Yeah. They ble- release people. Like what the fuck? And you ruin some extras' career. This yeah. extras is trying to. Wow, an actor on Empire is asking me to do something. You probably he probably didn't even give that extra the full detail of that what was man. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that prince who keeps sending me those emails about <laughs> fucking billions of dollars that I'm supposed to collect. I what? heard today that... This is Mercedes, by the way, everybody. Say one hi of to the, Mercedes. The, one of the extras, one of the Nigerian extras, uh, went back and deleted a bunch of homophobic tweets. Oh. <laughs> Save yourself, bro. Got Save it. yourself. Woo! <laughs> Save yourself. That's like like there's a huge fire, right? And then you just like try to put out the fire with like a little blanket, right. and then you just take the blanket. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, oh, I said stuff I about <laughs> homos, but I didn't attack this one. No, <laughs> like, no. I don't fuck? have any hate. Oh man, yeah. people are gonna think the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you send me your address, I'll send you a voucher for these millions of dollars. You just have to send me like a couple hundred. <laughs> Definitely love the gays, though. And if you send this to, like, four or five different people, you'll get some more vouchers, mm-hmm. and uh, I've never sent a homophobic tweet. Billions! <laughs> well, that is this week's crowd's fault. It's all the crowd's fault. <sighs> this, it, this is all your fault. Y'all started Empire. Yeah, the, the thing about fame, it all starts with the people. So technically, this is the crowd's fault. I love how we work it in fallen, at the end of yeah, every episode. Fallen Empire, you know? Fallen Empire. <laughs>